A man is wounded and a sheriff's cruiser is shot multiple times during a Winter Garden Thanksgiving night block party that turned violent. West News' Bob Keeling joins us live from the Orange County Sheriff's Office headquarters. And Bob, a witness caught some of the chaos on home video. Yeah, that's right, Jim. And investigators tell us that now that their cruiser has been shot up, it's actually here and it's evidence in this ongoing investigation. Meanwhile, a woman who lives right nearby was shooting some home video as this whole thing went down. They decide they're going to pull their guns out and start shooting. Susan Wagner was jarred out of bed early this morning after the sound of gunshots just outside her home. She started taking this phone video and narrating. Someone shot right there. One man at the party was wounded from a bullet that police say ricocheted and struck him in the forehead. Jorge Alvarado heard the shots. Out of the blue, I, I, about, I heard one shot. Then after that, that first shot, I heard about five or six more. And, and uh, I was kind of afraid. We knew it was going to happen. It always does. Last time they had a big party, there was a Shots fired. Sheriff's investigators say this block party at the intersection of Bay and Bethune streets is sometimes known as the Turkey Bowl. It drew a thousand people. Despite the violence and people leaving trash and ruts in her side yard, Wagner says she enjoys the parties. I love living in this neighborhood. But she and her husband are fed up with shots being fired, putting their lives and the lives of innocent people at risk. Residents just trying to enjoy the holiday with friends and neighbors. The guns don't need to come to a party. It just ruins everything for them. I mean, there's kids out here playing last yeah. night. Now, according to police, the unidentified victim who was shot by that ricochet bullet that hit him in the forehead, it's not a life threatening uh, injury. However, a Winter Garden police spokesman tells me the bullet remains lodged in his scalp. Reporting live at Sheriff's Headquarters, Bob Keeling, WESH 2 News.